So says I. I guess I was thinking about The Clash, I guess, for some reason, which is strange. But I guess the fact that it's a minor chord, but it kind of has this, to me, what I felt was kind of like a early punk sort of thing. I mean, it has that shuffle to it, which isn't quite, doesn't quite fit in that vein. But to me, I guess the minor chord aspect of it and the sort of aggressive nature of it, I was thinking The Clash. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if somebody was doing songs that, that felt that way or something? Um, I mean, this is me. <laughs> this is me once again, I guess, thinking about the way I am sometimes perceived during conversations. I was thinking about the political sort of mindset of most of my peers. And I guess how I think or I thought at the time that they were naive you know? And so I was kind of just riffing in my head about like this back and forth that seems to constantly be going on between, um, you know, opposing views of how to govern people and how to sort of manage society, you know? So says I was, was really, yeah, just me in my own head going back and forth about how fascinating it is, I guess, that these perspectives are at opposition. And really it's, you know, you can understand why, you know, somebody who is, say, a Marxist feels the way they feel or thinks the way they think if you get to the premises that they are starting from, the fundamental sort of ideas that they have in their head. It's like an easy train of thought to get to Marx. And on the other side, you can see why somebody would have a very different view because they have fundamental premises that are very different and so there's this back and forth, but to a large extent, I think both are true. You know, there's, there's like, I guess if, yeah, one of the things I feel like is you need to be able to hold multiple ideas in your head at the same time. And that song kind of is going through that in a very rudimentary way in a two minute and 48 second pop song. <laughs> Cause it was not the life we'd ever trap. I lost my life and got away with the rain. Cause I made no money, nobody saved no one's life this time So it's not that I hear you fall And the nature take its cause again And the big ones just need a little one The sand is back to the drawing board The demand was in the 90s that you never make any money at all. I mean, the ethos of, I don't know what, I mean, it's so funny because like punk rock starts out and it's just basically bratty fucking fun shit, you know, let's break windows, right? The sex pistols, you know, and then it slowly turns into this strange thing, especially in America. I think it just became this, there was like this dogmatic fucking religion that it became, you know? And just the idea of wanting to have a life was bourgeoisie, <laughs> you know, <laughs> wanting to be able to like eat is freaking wimpy, you know, or something. When I finally did get signed and started to develop some sort of a career, I was 30. So you're just more pragmatic. Your 20s are gone. Like your youth is basically gone, you know? And yeah, I think I, I was just a little bit more practical. I don't know. It's funny. Yeah, I remember, yeah, Modest Mouse did like a commercial of some kind, you know, and, and I was just like stoked for him. I don't know. Maybe being in Albuquerque, man, we were all about money. We were all about getting paid. We really were. There were constant, you know, arguments with promoters and stuff like, you know, we need to get paid and, we'd, you know, people would try and rip us off and stuff. So I don't know. It seems like it was a back East college kid sort of attitude by the end of the 90s, you know, to be like, oh, don't sell out. You can't sell out. And then we we did some selling out for sure. And the shit that we got was generally from like kids who had trust funds, you know, <laughs> like, of course, they don't fucking understand. You know, they just think they think you're in their situation. I guess they assume you're just like them and have, you know, some fucking huge fund that you can rely on or something, some pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or something. But we didn't.